Hello friends, welcome to this lecture. Myself Omran Das. Now I am going to discuss about helium neon laser. Okay. Helium neon laser is a is the first gas laser and is a continuous wave laser developed by Ali Jawan and his co-workers in 1961. It is a four level laser system. The schematic diagram for the construction of helium neon laser is shown in this figure. Okay. It consists of a long narrow quartz discharge tube containing a gas mixture of helium and neon in the ratio of about 7 is to 1 and at a pressure of about 1 millimeter of Hg. So the active medium used here is helium and neon. There are two curved mirrors fitted at the two end of the tube constitutes the resonating system. Okay. This is the partially reflected mirror and this is the fully reflected mirror. Here discharge is produced by application of a high voltage between two electrodes sealed into the discharge tube. Now two Brewster windows are used at the two end of the tube and they are inclined at the Brewster angle. It minimizes unwanted reflection and allows plain polarized light to come out. Now let's go to the working mechanism of helium neon laser. To understand the operation of helium neon laser, we take the help of energy level diagram. Okay. This is the energy level diagram for helium atom and this is the energy level diagram for neon atom. Here E0 is the ground state and E1 and E2 are the metastable states for helium atom. Okay. Now due to the electric discharge in the laser tube, some of the helium atom in the ground state are easily excited by absorbing energy and goes to the metastable state E1 and E2. Now when helium atom in the metastable state E1 and E2 collides with neon atom in the ground state, neon atoms are easily excited and goes to the 2s and 3s level while helium atom returns to the ground state. So this is a continuous process. Okay. Now we see here that there is close coincidence in energy between E1 and E2 level with 2s and 3s level. That is energy of E1 and 2s level is same and energy of E2 and 3s level is same. Okay. So when helium atom in the metastable state E1 collides with neon atom in the ground state, neon atoms are easily excited and goes to the 3s level and when helium atom in the metastable state E2 collides with neon atom in the ground state, neon atoms are easily excited and goes to the 3s level. Okay. Now here 2s and 3s level are metastable state and quickly attain population inversion relative to lower 2p and 3p level. Since 2p and 3p level are very thinly populated, here population inversion can be achieved between 3s level to 3p level, 3s level to 2p level and 2s level to 2p level. Okay. Now when atom in the 3s level jumps to the 3p level, radiation of wavelength 3.39 micrometer will be emitted. Similarly, the transition from 3s level to 2p level generates radiation of wavelength 6328 angstrom and when atom in the 2s level jumps to the 2p level, radiation of wavelength 1.15 micrometer will be emitted. Then they come to the 1s state and at last they come to the ground state by the collision with the walls of discharge tube. Okay. Now we see here that this transition consists of three wavelengths 3.39 micrometer. 6328 Armstrong and 
1.15 micrometer. Now of the three wavelengths, the coarse tube absorbs the wavelength 3.39 micrometer and 1.15 micrometer. And only a photon of 6328 angstrom will be emitted. Okay. Now this photon travels through the discharge tube and stimulate another excited neon atom and another photon of wavelength 6328 angstrom will be emitted. Thus, a highly intense monochromatic laser light will be emitted of wavelength 6328 angstrom from the partially reflected mirror. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.